resume preparation for experience resource <clears throat> this is in generic uh, irrespective of any technology so what are the what about the technology that you are going to choose any technology if you're going to prepare your resume as an experience resource so these are just the basic points this is the type of resume that we are going to prepare to submit for Indian organizations. Suppose if you are working in USA and if you are working in Australia or Canada, any other countries, the format may be different for other countries. But the points could be somewhat similar. Maybe uh, anything else you might have to add. Maybe some of these things you might not be required to add in your resume if you are uh, submitting it in Australia or other countries. So each, each and every country has their own format of resumes that you have to submit for your client. But this is just a basic format which you can go ahead and submit in India when you are applying for any job through your job portals in Naukri or Monster or indeed Times Jobs, any of these job portals. If you wanted to upload resume, this format is OK. OK, so whenever you are preparing your resume, so based on your technology, whatever the technology that you're going to apply for a position, in, you might have certifications done. Suppose if you take Java, .NET, Pega, any technology, you might have been done with your certification. So your certification logo should be there. When you are certified professional in any one of the technology, then there should be a logo. You can take this logo and place the logo on top of your resume either on right hand side or left hand side in the header part this header can be replicated in each and every page of your word document okay so this is the first thing you can go ahead and place your resume uh, your certification logo on top right or left side make sure that no other text is going to be uh, interfering with this logo okay suppose if you wanted to give your personal details like your name email address maybe phone number okay if you're giving this one on left side your resume should be your logo should be there on right side vice versa is okay so as an experienced resource generally there is no need of giving the heading like resume or something else Simply you can go ahead and start giving on the left hand side your name, email and phone number and right hand side your certification logo. That is fair enough. Suppose if you are certified multiple levels, what is the highest level of certification that you have done? Only take that one logo that is fair enough. If you have added highest level of certification logo, that means you already have the before levels of certification being done. No need to again add all the logos. Suppose if you are certified in multiple different technologies add one logo with small size for each technology suppose you are certified in three technologies add three logos make it like 20 by 20 size okay then that will be good and after that so the start of your resume you just mention your professional summary okay professional summary is related to what Professional summary is related to that is professional experience. A professional summary is related. Okay, you just add professional experience on top and then professional summary later. First, you add professional experience. So, top of your resume, it should talk about your total IT experience and your relevant experience on the technology what you are applying for. Suppose your total IT experience is eight years and relevant to so and so technology is three years. So once you mention this, if they look at the resume on top of the resume itself, they'll come to know what is your total IT experience and what is your relevant experience for the job or technology on which you are applying currently. Okay, it will give clear cut information. And then you write down about professional summary. In the professional summary, when you are going to write down, it's not mandatory that you have to write down again your total and relevant experience that is not required. Suppose you have multiple technologies that you have worked on. Okay, so here once you mention total IT experience of let's say seven years relevant experience of let's say any technology like Pega of four years and you need to talk about remaining three years here 
here. So three years, let's say two years of experience as business analyst and one year of experience working as let's say let's say manual testing testing engineer like this so looking at this top of your professional experience they'll come to know what your total experience relevant experience and before that what you have worked on okay and the professional summary so when you are mentioning the professional summary again no need to mention the same points what you have given in professional experience in the summary you have to write about what are the tasks that you are working on so that should be starting from the current technology on which you are applying job for it should not start from the initial technology what you are being uh, where you have started your it career suppose if you have started your it career from testing generally some of the people are going to write down starting from testing so i've started working on texting and i have worked on these many different applications something like that but it is not required you have to start talking about from your current technology what you are applying your job for so your professional summary working on pega in different domains what are the domains that you are working on you mentioned the domains let's say you are working on insurance domain the work on banking domain so working currently working on domain so and so insurance domain and on insurance application or let's say claims application this is one point and the next one you just write down about uh, the other one let's say work on what is the other one banking domain let's say banking domain so and so application and now you write down about points related to what you uh, what you have what you are been what you are working on in the current technology those are related to technology let's say you take pega so working on activities activities and decision rules like mention all the decision rules and declarative rules you can mention it point by point activities decision rules declarative rules and you just mention all the declarative rules workflows handle ta handle task related to integration using the below protocols so what are the protocols that you have hands on let's say so protocol rest protocol and it's not a protocol actually so rest integration and what is the other one let's say uh, external database like sql connect sql okay and it's not a protocol but it is part of integration connect sql and service file this is file related and you, you have anything else that you wanted to mention you can go ahead and mention all this so like this you add technical things here in the professional summary technically what you have worked on what are the things that you have hands on you just mention here and apart from this you can mention like strong coding skills ability to manage a team if you have if you are a team lead ability to manage a team and otherwise if you are just working part of the team so good coordination working with the team members like this you can go ahead and mention and problem solving skills and what else are there analytical skills you can mention all this okay so and debugging and troubleshooting so all this you have all done okay so debugging and troubleshooting and you can also mention like yeah that's fair enough i believe so debugging and troubleshooting and performance performance analysis if you have interest in mentioning this and if you wanted to express the same in interview that you are no performance tools and all you can mention this one otherwise it is not required and whatever the whatever the technical aspects that you are going to mention here in your work summary professional experience summary everything should be known to you you should be confident enough of each and every topic what you are going to mention do not simply copy from other resumes and prepare your resume that is not a good practice at all if you wanted to look at any model resumes downloaded from the web you just take it as a uh, simple guidance 
okay it has a model resume that's it do not copy paste as it is read the model resume understand what they have kept and what is suitable for you out of it and it is just like a preparation resume preparation guidance for you okay you just go ahead and prepare your own resume just thinking about remind remembering or reminding all the topics what you have worked on and mention only the topics what you have worked on it is not needed that you have to mention every other topic what is there in the technology remember that so your resume will not be shortlisted based on these topics what you mentioned here okay it will be shortlisted mainly based on what is your total experience what is your relevant experience and what are the certifications that you have if that is going to be taken into consideration okay so it will not be shortlisted based on these points but after that they will ask you questions related to what you had kept in your resume so the points what you about technical aspects what you are going to mention here is most important because interviewer when interviewer is going to ask you any questions related to what you have mentioned in your resume in the technical experience summary you must have to answer that so simply mentioning some topic here for the sake of increasing the number of topics and if you appear for the interview and if you are not able to answer any other question asked out of these topics what you have mentioned definitely interviewers are going to lose interest in selection process that they're going they're not going to select you simply because you have mentioned something even though you do not aware of it okay it's a bad impression on you so these are the things that you have to mention in your work experience and after that you can just go ahead and mention your education details when you are going to mention your education details you just mention what is the highest degree that you have that is fair enough no need to mention everything else okay suppose if you are a btech graduate btech from so and so college this year to this year otherwise you are an nca graduate mca from so and so college be from so and so college pg program from so and so college mba from so and so college that is fair enough no need to mention plus 2 and even 10th standard all this is not required okay anyway these details you are going to submit through your job portals so the re your resume is detail your details will be pulled from job portals not from what you have written inside your resume so remember whatever that you are going to mention here everything must exactly match with your job portal job portal when you are creating a profile in naukri on monster okay there you are going to give total it experience that should exactly match with what you have kept here and relevant experience and what else other experiences what you have and all and here you go ahead whenever you are going to mention your education details here this education details exactly match with what you have in the portal okay and if you are mentioning only one college here that is the highest degree that is fair enough but in naukri monster portals you mention all the schooling college and the pg program or the diploma programs whatever that you have done everything you have to mention there till your 10th standard okay but in the resume it is fair enough if you mention only one education level that is highest education okay and next one certifications so again you are going to mention your certifications here so the certifications what you are going to mention what you have already added logos on top the same you can just go ahead and mention here certified let's say certified pega brbc professional so now there will be levels so here you going to mention senior system architect okay certified pega brbc c ssa professional okay after you write this remember one thing you are not required to write about certified system architect this is senior system architect right you are not required to mention certified system architect that is not required at all because if you are a certified senior system architect means you are already certified csa professional okay without completing csa first level of certification you cannot do second level of certification there is no need to mention the previous certification here if you add that no issues but it is not required actually okay so and mention this and you just go ahead and if you wanted to mention the version which version you are done with you, you have done your certification in you can just mention that otherwise it is not required if you do not want to mention also no problem whenever interviewer is going to ask you you can tell them that you have done in so and so certification okay i request you generally not to mention your certification version that is not required you just mention what certification you have done and here you do not add logo 
if you have already added logo on top of your resume header okay so if you have not added there suppose then you add logo here that is okay okay and you talk about the achievements here achievements so many people have seen the certifications they are going to consult as an achievement do not mention your certifications and achievements certifications you just mention it as a separate section in your resume your achievements are something in your professional achievements it should be mentioned like professional achievements so your professional achievements can be like you have got like in a in a rewards and recognition program so you are being awarded for best performance during this first quarter or second quarter okay like this otherwise as a quick learner award you have got like this there can be a number of things so this is what your professional achievements do mention only professional achievements when you are going ahead with your uh, experienced resume it is not required that you are going to mention your achievements in your college level and all. that is not required at all and that is not even recommended only they will bother about when you are applying for a job as an experienced resource they bother about what achievements that you have in your previous organizations professionally that's it nothing other than that and your professional achievements what you are going to mention here is suppose if you have you mentioned other you don't have do not mention this section at all and your certifications do not add into achievements at all certification is a it's part of learning process okay it can be more certifications going forward it should come under certification section professional achievements should be the achievements and the awards that you have got from your client or from your organization during your work experience based on your performance and all. okay and then you mention project summary so write down write down about your projects what projects that you have okay whenever you are going to write down about your projects you have to start mentioning the projects from re that you have worked on recently so the recent project should be the first one first one should be recent project so you are currently working with insurance domain so on so client so on so project that is what you have to mention recent one so the last project should be the first one what you have worked on in your career experience when you have joined it industry what is the first project that you have worked on should be the last one in your resume and from there it will start from bottom to top most recent project and then the previous project and previous project and it is most important that for any project that you have some headlines okay that is project name or you say this is application name what is the application that you are working on and then take it to next level just hang on application name and after application name you are you are just going to give the information about project client who is the client that you are working with and suppose if you wanted to give the organization name that you are working in so that is not required actually you would have mentioned on top of the, this one otherwise if you want to mention organization name and what else after organization name suppose if you want to mention methodology you can mention and team size and technology anyway that you are applying for you can mention the technology also technology or framework whatever it is see if you are mentioning all this for project one same template should be used for all other projects okay for one project you are going to mention all this and for the next project you are going to mention only these three it is not a recommended practice for every project you mention all of the details so if they look at all the projects should have the same template okay every project should have application name project client name and the name of the organization and the methodology that you are working on and the team size and technology team size it is not mandatory that you you need to mention the team size it is always good to go ahead and mention your methodology what you are working on so that they will come to an idea looking at your methodology itself the process everything they will come to know simply okay and the technology is good if you mention because each project will have different technology so that they will learn. and the duration of the project is not required to mention some people will mention that if you wanted to mention the duration of the project mention it on the 
right side here okay that is okay to mention on the right side and now project description and many of you when you write about project description okay many of the resources are writing out suppose if my project client suppose if i want to mention that is, that it is humana if i have mentioned like this many people are writing about humana is an organization which has been started in 1987 okay it is their headquarters is there in usa texas something like this you are mentioning so this is not uh, this is not the expectation actually so your project description should talk about your application what you are currently working on it should not talk about client suppose if you wanted to mention the client information you add one more section about client but which is not at all required actually okay if you wanted to mention about client you just add one more section here about client and mention about the client two or three lines but it is not at all recommended generally no one bothers about about client generally but if they ask you you should be able to tell where it is located and what is the headquarters and all that will be good if you just go through google and find out all this otherwise you'll have this information as you're working with this client and project description if you go ahead and see you have to talk about your application process complete business process you have to talk about so that you need to write what is this application mainly meant for the first point the current application what it is what it is mainly meant for so this application let's say automates the process of insurance policy processing this is what this application is going to do so whatever the insurance policy processing is there this application is going to automate the process of insurance policy by creating policies automatically or if there is no automation you are not required to mention automation this application deals with processing of insurance policy deals with processing of insurance like this you can just go ahead and mention so the first line should talk about what is all about your application reading this one line they will come to know okay your application is going to collect the data related to insurance and finally generates insurance policies you have given complete information in one line now you just write down about description about your project so this project this application processes policies let's say in n number of lines of business so what are lines of business here suppose you take bank if you take bank suppose your application is going to create bank accounts for the customers so reading that sentence they'll come to know okay it is going to collect all the details related to customers and create bank accounts so what type of different accounts that this application is going to handle so that is what lines of business it is going to operate in personal lines that means it is going to create an account related to an individual and corporate it is going to create accounts related to corporate and it operates in nri lines of business like this you mentioned for a banking project so coming to insurance personal lines and commercial so insurance related to an individual insurance related to employees of an organization or it can be anything else depends on what you have there okay suppose if you take healthcare accordingly you have to use the lines of business related to healthcare technology so these many lines of business this application so and here the policy processing system whatever that you wanted to write about further about application processing of your transactional processing you just write down here so what are the screens that are involved so after you have mentioned lines of business in personal lines it is going to create policies for individuals in commercial lines it is going to create policies for group of employees like this so the final outcome of this process and next you write down we have these integrations what are the integrations we have integrations means web services okay we have uh, soap services all this being used in this policy during this policy processing and final output of this application is it is going to generate a policy with effective and expiry dates of dates assigned to the policy okay so if they are going to read about the project description they should clearly come to know about your business process that is fair enough okay you are not required to talk about the organizations or the client description is not required okay 
the same you replicate for all other projects whatever that you are going to mention same practice for every other project and most importantly when you are preparing your resume it is a minimum thing that your resume font suppose if you are using times new roman everywhere it should have same font okay and do not use multiple colors okay only your email address what you are mentioning can be highlighted in blue color okay should never use a red color in your resume it should be it can be blue color apart from your email address what you are going to mention everything else you go ahead with black color better you just forward with times new roman same font from top to bottom okay and your template should exactly match that means everywhere suppose if you are going to mention here professional summary okay you have given an underscore for every section what you are mentioning should have an underscore okay without that suppose one section you have underscores and another sections you have bullet points this is not good suppose if you are using bullet points anywhere under every section for each point if you are using bullet points for every other section every point you use bullet points only okay do not use like section 1 all points are with bullets like this okay this one and section 2 you are going to use dots and section 3 you are going to use tick marks the look and feel of your resume will not be good if you are going to do like this okay template what you are following should be exactly matching suppose you take section 1 what is the template that you have used for section 1 side heading is being is being made bold plus underscore and a colon suppose every section side heading every section heading should be same same font same size of font it should be bold or whatever you are using accordingly and it should have a colon should have an underscore and inside the section the points if you are using dots every section inside point should have dots only okay first your look and feel of resume should be simple okay there are many resources i have shown you in other classes for example resumes do never prepare like this Pre resume preparation is just a common sense of using microsoft word simply so your format of the resume should be same okay except email address do not use any other color anywhere else okay email address blue color that is fair enough because we got seven resumes rejected only looking at the resume template for this riyadh opening and all okay now coming to this one professional summary after you have mentioned so your projects you have mentioned once it is completed and in between here before you add your projects you can write about technical experience technical okay uh, you can mention like this technical profile summary so just you summarize what are the technologies that you have worked on you can add a table format or you can mention the way you want whatever the template you wanted to use suppose if you are taking a uh, table format name of the technology or framework technology or framework you just mention here okay so what is the technology and how many years of experience you have worked on so experience okay so technology or you can say framework or tool whatever it could be so you just mention here java technology so you have to here also you should start from the beginning like like starting here you are applying for let's say pega so pega how many years next previously you have worked on java so same mention before that testing same you mentioned here okay how many years of it so this will give you a clear idea to the interviewer that what you what what you have worked on same you are mentioning in words on top here also you can just go ahead and mention and do not write windows 10 windows xp ms office that is not required you should have minimum knowledge about all of these things when you are applying as an experienced resource do not mention operating systems windows all this that is not required you if you wanted to mention operating systems you must mention this okay it is not required because many people i have seen linux they are mentioning like linux and unix kind of things but it is not required for a developer if you are a build engineer or something you might be using it so don't mention any operating systems that is not required and do not mention ms office tools and all that is also not required at all for an experienced resource that is only for freshers okay so you just just mention like this a little summary about what you have worked on and apart from this if you wanted to mention any other tools i have told you right like defect management tools 
what are the defect management tools that you have let's say jira something like this you mention any other defect management tools and deployment tools that you are aware of you can mention something you are aware of even though you do not have complete hands on because you are applying for a developer role not for a build engineer role so you may just mention git is a tool or any other tools that you have used in your project and apart from deployment tools anything else is the defect management tool deployment tools and all if you have used any performance tools then you can mention performance tools as well okay so like this you can just go ahead and mention information about your tools or frameworks or the technology that you have worked on okay in between above your projects okay and then finally once you are done with all this so here you are going to mention declaration so the information that i have provided is true to the best of my knowledge something like this and then the signature with three dots okay so without mentioning this if you're going to prepare your resume the end of resume uh, it, it's like incomplete actually they'll not come to know whether it is ended or not so declaration is not mandatory at least your signature with three dots signature with three dot itself is going to talk about your declaration if you are mentioning three dots after your after your signature means whatever the information that you have given with your complete sense okay which is true completely that is the meaning of three dots after your signature you just add that if you do not want to write, uh, write any declaration just go ahead and down right side here at the bottom you put your signature date of course if you wanted to give you can give otherwise date is not required because you cannot change the date every time when you are appearing for interview just write down your signature and mention your signature there and give one two three three dots okay that means you have written that declaration and all. okay so then it makes the resume is complete end of the resume as we reached okay so make it so simple that is most important interviewer should clearly understand your resume when you look at your resume so all this you just code and mention if you are going to download any resumes from the web you consider it as a modal resume while mentioning the points in your resume you just look at yourself and look at look inside you what you know about and then write accordingly okay do not copy paste from other resumes at all that is just as a reference you take it okay this is clear everyone and just keep that resume close it the reference resume and think about what you know and then write down about your resume so your content starts building here itself okay so this is about resume preparation that you can go ahead and do it and remember this is most important that the template that you are using should be same from top to bottom same font same type of font size suppose if you are using font size of 12 for the inter, uh, points inside sections sections headings you are using 14 is the font size and inside section the points is 12 font size every section should have 14 font size to the heading and inner point should have 12 as a font size and same font uh, same uh, uh, font name you have to follow okay times new roman everywhere times new roman. okay and if you are using underscore same you have to use okay do not use any colors this is just i wanted to let you know details about resume preparation